So the start of this video is going to include my face, sorry about that. Uh, this is a, uh, a clip from my laptop. I wasn't able to record, so I just downloaded my stream highlights. Uh, my wife and I went to Denver recently. She really wanted to go to a Broncos game. We're both uh, Broncos fans, sadly. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and so uh, I did a little hotel stream. And uh, so I've got a little bit of highlights to share from that. So the first thing I did was I really wanted to get my combat stats up a little bit for TOA. So I did some uh, some uh, Soul Wars boosting. Now, I wanted to include this just if you were curious how it works. So pretty much what you need is uh, two accounts. They each need to be in a different friends chat. Not clan chat, friends chat. And then you challenge each other in this uh, little side lobby at Soul Wars. Um, from there, it's pretty simple. You need to get a total of 40 of the soul fragments between the two of you combined. And then the account that you want to boost on, uh, have them capture the middle point, offer the soul fragments, and then they're just going to go kill the avatar to... I think it needs to be below, like, 70%. I always got it down to, like, 50% to be safe. And then you just forfeit on the other account. And then, as you can see, the account you're boosting will get a bunch of zeal. And it really does not take very long at all. I'm pretty sure this works in the live game as well, to be honest. So this should be applicable advice for the live game as well. So anyway, I did that for at least just a little bit. And uh, I spent all my zeal on getting my attack and strength up. And I got up to level 89 attack and strength, which is still pretty bad, but better. And then I also got a bunch of uh, dragon bones when I was doing my Void Waker grind from Callisto. So I took those dragon bones to the Wilderness Chaos Altar, and that got me up to level 85 prayer. I wanted to get my prayer up because, if you didn't know, uh, the Undying Retribution... The damage that it deals is actually equal to double your prayer level. So the higher prayer, the better. And then I sent a TOA because, you know, gotta try our luck at least a little bit. And I got a Masori Mask, which is, uh, well, it's not a shadow, but it's also a unique, you know? <laughs> at this point, if you get a unique, you're happy. It's better than getting another Fang or Lightbearer. Uh, yeah, so I decided to do a level 700 raid, and it took me over 50 minutes. Not doing that shit again. Am I rewarded, at least? You know what? That is my first light bearer, actually. So, yes. It's a unique. I will consider that rewarded. Thank you. Hey, Anvil no more. And with that, we completed the Combat Achievements Hard Tier. That is 400 points. Damn. All right, I have turned off the Cox sensor. Show me all the drops. Show them to me. It's a purple for me, and sadly, it is a dexterous prayer scroll. I mean, hey, it's never a bad thing to get. It's just, for once, this may, this may be the only time in RuneScape history I wanted an arcane prayer scroll over a dexterous prayer scroll. It never hurts, though. I mean, obviously, I do have to use range and TOA, so it never hurts. Oh my god, no. I got a purple! Another dex? Fuck you, game! Come on, man. Oh my god, there's a Twisted Bow in the chat! Oh shit! Twisted Bow, DHCB, Twisted Buckler, and... Another dex. <clears throat> Congrats, everybody that is not me. <laughs> He's a ranger too? Oh, perfect! Range Relic gets the Twisted Bow. you love to see it. Can I get a third purple in a row in my name? I can! Oh my god, I got the fucking omelet! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Woohoo! That is purple number three, and I also got an arcade! That's perfect! Oh, uh, I mean... To be fair, if I end up playing an alt in future leagues, I will be playing on this account, so... You know, uh, then I guess now I have a pet that'll transfer over. Oh my god. And I got the arcane I wanted for Augury. Wow. <laughs> That's a pretty good raid, man. That's a pretty good raid. Wow, look at that chat box. Arcane, dex, dex, arcane, arcane.
100% in prayer scrolls. All right, let's do it. Let's pop it open. Oh, shit. I forgot to start my recorder. It's just gonna have to be a Twitch clip. Hi, YouTube. Hello. That's another fang. Ah, yes. Fang number four. Woohoo! Yay. I think grass type might be my literal least favorite Pokemon type. If I had to pick one, I... Oh, uh, well, I guess that's going to the video. There's, uh, 35 million hit points XP. Lovely. Purple number eight. Can we spoon the shadow? Give it a little jig, perhaps. I, I, I clicked jig, man. If it would have actually gone through, it would have been a shadow. But no, no, it's a white bear instead. All right, let's do it. Purple number nine. Let's actually jig this time. What? I clicked it! Can you not emote while it's, like, generating the item? Because I swear to God, I'm clicking it, bro. <laughs> oh, who's surprised? A fang. Obtain 25 million defense XP. Oh, boy. Oh, do you like squeaky toys? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a classic vine right there. It's quite unfortunate, but uh, to my knowledge, my purple chance at this invocation is like 70-something percent. So I definitely should get a purple more often than I don't. But it's not guaranteed, which is, which is annoying, right? Because on my melee account, it was a guaranteed purple. And, uh, yeah, you know, just, not only if you, if you start going dry for the shadow, that sucks, and then you have your occasional white chest, and it just makes it not very fun. We'll do the, we'll do the, the, the rear view open, and you're just gonna see the shadow stick out on the end. Well, I don't see a shadow, so it's, uh, whoa, Fang, oh my god, no way, holy shit, bro, it's crazy, oh my god. Well, that's the beautiful thing about RuneScape. Everything is learnable. Everything can be learned. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, th dude, if that undying didn't kill it, that boulder would have killed me. Oh my god. I saw that coming from a mile away. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Hey, we got a jewel of the sun, though. This is my first gem. Cool. Fine, yes, I'll get the shadow. Fine, fine. <sighs> uh, fang it is then. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure which I think would be worse, honestly. Please shadow me, daddy! Ah! Please show me the shadow, please. Ooh, hello. That's a unique. I'll take that. There's a little, uh minor dps increase for our uh the little bit of time we have to use range i'll take it man it's a unique i'm happy i actually look kind of sick right now dude i don't know if it's just, I don't know if it's just me but i kind of i kind of look drippy right now i don't know i kind of like it whoa that's actually a huge upgrade 159 range bonus up to 172 i, re I reckon oh my god i'm gonna die actually that is just a great start to the day, you know? First raid of the day, just, you know, this is just exactly how I wanted to start my day. So for today's TOA session, I decided to implement a new strategy, and that is skull skipping. Now, I've known of skull skipping for a long time, but I've never actually tried doing it. Now, the reason you want to skull skip is not because it's, like, easier or anything. In fact, I would say it's probably harder. Uh, that being said, it isn't actually difficult, uh, but anyway, the reason why you do it is because it allows you to get more points. Uh, when you pop all of the skulls, it damages the warden, but if you skip the skulls, it doesn't damage it, and that means that you yourself get to deal more damage, and therefore you get more points, which increases your purple rate. Simple as that. But uh, dodging it, or doing the skull skip, super easy. There is a column of tiles that you stand on, and then you want to align yourself, like, you know, sideways, if that makes sense, with whatever skull you're gonna uh, spam click on, and then you equip, like, a magic or a ranged weapon, you spam click on that skull, and you won't take any damage. Alright, let's see what the first purple of the day is. 
Let it be a shadow now that I'm back in Discord so I can scream at Paul and Roydy. Oh, no way! That might be a back-to-back -back with the top. Oh, let's go, dude. That is full Masori now. That's big upgrades. Okay, the only problem is... I, I, I'm, I'm happy with the full Masori, but now... It literally all I need is the shadow, which is a terrible feeling. All right, okay. Yeah. First question, Robin. Huh. Will I get a purple this raid? No. I will not. No. Well, fuck you. You could have said yes. If you were going to be right, you could have said yes. Damn. It smells about the same, yeah. Why well, are you why you asked me? That's my honest opinion. Well, shit. Robin is a Jagex. Hola, mi amo Jordan. Yo necesito un shadow. Ja 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 ja. Oh, oh yeah, okay. So with the TOA uh, plugin on Runelight, it says unique nineteen point seven one percent. So if that said 20%, it would be a 100% drop rate. So I'm really close. That's like that's like a 98.5 or something, right? Very, very close. Uh, oh, come on, baby. Show us the shadow, please. Son of a bitch, that's not a shadow. It's a light bear, obviously. A fang? Wow. Mr. Mammal's Fang Emporium, open for business. Robin needs me to go grab the laundry for her, so uh, I'm gonna bait myself. I'll uh, I'll see what it is in a in a few minutes. Be right back. These bitch. next series of clips nice. all happened in subsequent raids, one after the other. This may have been the most yes. pitiful display of right gaming now, yeah. in my entire life, I'm not kidding. Yeah, I mean- Oh, oh no, it's not off cooldown! Oh. I, I- I definitely thought it was off cooldown. Like, I was very sure. I- No, do but it- no, it says I have Undying. No, 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 it- It lit- but it literally says right there that I- What- what are you on about, bro? Favorite dog breed beside German Shepherd? Well, I do like Basset Hounds. They are pretty great. Um, I like, uh, like Golden Retrievers. Labs. Uh, I like Dachshunds. Wiener Dogs are funny. I, I really, I think I just like all dogs, you know? I'd be hard-pressed to find a dog breed that I don't like, you know? And on the last purple of the day, I just didn't even commentate, man. I just- I just watched the- I watched the fang unfold and I just had nothing to say, man. Um, so this video is, uh, long- like, not as long as I'd like it to be, and obviously it does not contain a shadow, but, uh, I do want to upload this video because well, obviously I've had a, bad, a bit of a, a lack of footage. One, because like I mentioned at the start of the video, we were gone in Denver for a few days. And then while we were in Denver, we got the unfortunate news that my um, my grandmother-in-law, uh, or the, I don't know how you word that, but my wife's grandma passed away. Um, so we have to travel out of town for a couple of days for the funeral and stuff. So um, yeah, so footage was a little bit hard to come by for this video, but I figured a...
Shorter than normal video is better than no video at all. Furthermore, um, Leagues is kind of wrapping up at this point. I'm not really having very much fun trying to grind out this shadow, so for all I know, this might be the last Leagues video, and we might be returning to the Farmers before the end of the Leagues, which is in like a week anyway. We'll have to wait and see how I'm feeling when I get back.